Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about how we're going to share our book snaps. And I'm going to be using a Canva whiteboard to have you all share your book snaps. Now, I will admit I'm a little bit nervous about doing it this way because there are definitely easier tools that I could have used to set this up. Like I could have just used the Padlet board, but I've used Padlet so many times and I figure you have too, but maybe you haven't used a Canva whiteboard. So I wanted to challenge us all to try something new. And I think also that a Canva whiteboard is really something that you might be able to use in your classroom. And so I just wanted to have an opportunity to play with it and give it a go while we're all together. I'm thinking that a lot of us are going to be making book snaps in Canva. So why not use a similar tool and also really see the power of the whiteboard and the whiteboard is pretty new in Canva. What a whiteboard is, is obviously like it's an infinite scrollable thing, right? I can zoom in and zoom out. I can move around on the board. I can keep adding to it just like any other digital whiteboard that is collaborative. I've set this up with the different chapters that we're gonna be reading and actually, if you click on this grid view, you can set up multiple boards. I haven't finished setting it up right now. I've only set up the first section we're gonna be reading. I'm gonna show you how that all works in just a minute. Basically, we're gonna be working collaboratively in this space. This first homepage is really just your table of contents. There's nothing you're gonna be doing on that except using it for navigation. So if you click on chapters one through three, you're gonna see this little icon right here, which will go to that page. You can either get there by clicking on grid view to kind of see the table of contents, or you can just click click and go to that page, which I think is gonna be easiest for everybody. Now, how this is gonna work is that this is gonna be blank. I right now have put some exemplars in here because I'm gonna explain how this goes, but everybody can add their book snap as an image after you've created it and just add it somewhere. I just added this table grid background so you kind of know where to place a new one after somebody else has left theirs in there. So this is collaborative. We can all add our own and I'm gonna have these examples on the side just to give you a little bit of inspiration here. Now, when you first click on it, things look pretty small, right? You can't really read anything. And that's the beauty of having the whiteboard. You can zoom in and out by pinching on your mouse, just like you would zoom in and out anywhere else. Or if that's difficult for you, you can also just move at this bottom right corner to zoom in and zoom out. So if you go to like 100%, it's gonna make everything very legible and readable. And you can just move around the board by moving two fingers on your trackpad. So I just have two fingers on my trackpad to move around the board. Now, if you don't have a trackpad, you might not have the two finger scroll. What you can also do is to move around, press a space bar and drag the canvas in any direction. So let me demo that. So if I'm holding down the space bar right now, you'll see it turns into a hand and then I would just click and drag and that's another way to move around. So again, space bar turns into a hand and then you can move around to zoom in and zoom out. You can pinch if you have a trackpad or you can use right here in the bottom right to zoom zoom in and zoom out. So there are some methods for moving around. I'm actually going to take a screenshot of this right now and add it as a note right here for y'all as a reminder. Okay, so how do we get our book snaps onto here? Again, let's zoom in a little bit. And if I have my book snap, there's multiple ways to do this. The first way would just be to select all. So you can press like Command A on your keyboard and then copy Command C to copy, go back over to our shared whiteboard where we're sharing our book snaps, command V to paste, and it will just paste it right in really easily. You do wanna group so that it all is one image because here, you know, you can move everything separately and you wouldn't want that to happen when you move it over here. So again, all I did was, let me ungroup it, just press the group button. If you don't see that group button, if you accidentally clicked off, just highlight everything again, and then you can click on group. Then you can move it around or you can even just make it a little bit bigger so it fits. So that's one way to do it. Another way to do it would be to press the share button and download as an image. So you can download as a PNG or as a JPEG. JPEG is a little bit of a smaller file size. Go ahead and download that. And once it's downloaded, you can go over to our shared book snap space and you can just drag it in just like that. You can drag and drop here. Maybe I want to crop it a little bit because I have some extra white space. Zoom in a little bit 
and then again, I can move it, I can resize it, do all the same stuff. So it's your choice how you wanna pull it in. You can either download it or you can just copy and paste it. Last way you can do it actually, if your Canva is only one page, you can actually go to share, get the view only link, copy it, go back to where you want to add your Canva creation and then go over to apps. And if you type in embed, paste in the link and you can actually embed a Canva in Canva. I think that most people are probably not gonna choose that last option, but it's actually a really good option as a teacher if you want multiple Canvas within each other. That could be really good if you have like a newsletter a month, for example. You could just store them all in one place, make them accessible on one board. So I just wanted to share that feature. I don't think that one's gonna be the chosen method, but who knows? Just wanted to show it. All right, so now once you have added your image, you might might want to lock it. If you lock it, that means that nobody else will be able to accidentally move it around. If you add it by copy paste here, you won't see those same three dots when you click on it. You just have to right click. Usually if you right click on elements in Canva, you get this menu of more options and here's where you can just choose to lock it. And then people won't be able to move it around or accidentally delete it. So that's kind of a best practice to teach students anyway. So I wanted to share that here. Otherwise, you know, everybody could kind of move each other's around. So again, the easiest way to do it is probably just right click and go to lock. Now, to make this a little bit more collaborative, I thought we might wanna comment on one another's. And to do that, if you click on any of the images, whether it's locked or whether it's not locked, you'll see this little icon, add comment. And that will give you the ability to add a comment. So you can say like, I agree, comment. And then it's gonna be a threaded comment discussion. So people can continue to comment and also you can add a reaction. So if somebody says something and you wanna like vote it up, you can like it, you can star it, all those good things. Also in your replies or in your comments in general, you can just reply with stickers. So you can use the stickers that are already built in here. Be like, bravocado reply. So that could be a little bit of fun and something again that I'd like you to try out because I see a lot of applications in the classroom for this type of thing. You could have a debate board, you could have a brainstorming board, just a lot of different ideas. Now how you know which of these have comments and which ones don't, when a comment's been added you see this little icon pop up the little profile icon, and you can just click on that to open up any of the comments. So if I added a comment over here, click on the little comment bubble, let's just comment with a sticker this time. Now you'll see the little profile icon on both of these two. That's really it. So again, move around, I put a little note here. The most general way to move around is hold down the space bar and then move around with your mouse. And to zoom in and out, you can just use the bottom right adjustment here to zoom in and out. And if you have a trackpad, just pinch and use your two fingers to scroll. Now to navigate between boards, you can click here to the grid view or I have left a home button. So you can always just go home or on this main home, you can always just click to go to whatever chapter we're reading. So hopefully that's rather straightforward and hopefully this is gonna be a fun activity. If you have any questions, obviously ask them. If you need help, ask them. I'm sure a lot of people are going to need help. This is hopefully gonna be new to a lot of people because this whiteboard is a new feature in Canva and I wanted to challenge myself to try it with you all and I wanted to challenge you to try it and I'm hoping that we're gonna get some cool ideas for ways that this type of thing might be able to be used in the classroom, both book snaps and also the whiteboard. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the course. Bye.